Hi, welcome back to the Pelch 2010 tutorial. In this part, we're going to be looking at record by fixture mode. What record by fixture mode does is it takes a snapshot of all the lights you've changed and records them onto a memory for you. So, the first thing we'll do is look at a record by fixture memory with dimmers. First thing we do is set up a look. If we look at the screen here, when I change my dimmer channels, the lights come up. So, I've got three channels up there. Say I want to record them into a memory. All I do is go to the first blue button down here, the memory cue button. When I press that, it brings up the record menu. I need to make sure this is set to record mode by fixture. If it's not, you can press them to toggle through till it's back to fixture again. And I look at the playback section near the roller cue. All the flashy ones mean that these are free memories, so I can record anywhere there's a flashing button. All I do to record it is just press one. That one will now light up, showing you've recorded it there. Now, to play back my memory, check I've recorded it right, I bring down the channels and press clear. Now, when I push up my fader, it's saved everything that I, re that I changed. See on the screen here, the output's the same. Now, if I want to make it a bit more complicated and use some fixtures in this, what I do, I find my fixtures, I'll turn them on with locate. What locate does is it turns them on in an open neutral position so I can see what I'm working with. I can now change to pan tilt, move them around. might change the colour of them. Might add in some more fixtures even. And make these a different colour. So once I've got a look that I'm happy with and I want to save this, again I'll go to the memory cue button, which is the blue one right at the top. I press that, the ID comes on again, and again I check this is set to record mode by fixture. And then I can press any of the flashing buttons here to save my memory onto it. So I press that one, it's lit up, shows that's been saved. If I now press clear, I can recall back my memory. So when I push up the fader, it brings back the lock that I've saved. Now, if we want we can also do record by fixture chases. This is simply a sequence of record by fixture memories linked together. So we'll make them in exactly the same way. I'll do a dim one first. So I put my page back to my dimmer channels. I'll set up the first step of my chase. So say I want it to be that. Now in order to recall that into the first step, what I need to do is go to chase. This is the second blue button down. When I press that, LED becomes lit again, and any of the flashing ones, as with the recall by fixture memory, show where I can place my chase. I'll put it here. Now, the first time I press that button, nothing's been recorded. All I've done is show the desk this is where I want to save it to. We can check up here as well. The LCD screen is saying press the flashing key to record step one, so I know nothing's been recorded. So I simply follow the instruction up here. Once I've checked that I'm in the right record mode, again in fixture mode, all I do to save this output is press the button once. We can see the screen is updated to read press the record key to record step 2. So to record step 2, what I'm going to do is bring up a different fader, symbol dimmer chase. Now to record that, again, all I do is press the flashing key. That saves the next step. We can go along and make as many steps as we like. Just remember we need to press the flashing key each time to save it. So, I've recorded four steps. That's all good. Now to come out of my chase, all I do is press quit. It's been saving as we go along. To play it back, I pull back all my faders to zero. Press clear. And then simply bring up the fade of the chase. 
you can see it's playing the back at the default speed, which is one second, with full fade on. So it's having a nice smooth crossfade between the cues. Now, to do a record by fixture chase, it is again sim simply like recording a sequence of record by fixture memories. So I'll bring that down so I don't confuse the desk and look at different things on the screen. I'll go back to my fixtures. I'll select some fixtures, locate them so I can see what I'm doing with them. Now I'm going to move them up there, and I might want them to be in, say, green for my first step. I'm going to follow exactly the same procedure as I did for my record by if I do a chase. I'll hit chase, assign a location to it, so I'm going to put this next to this one. Again, the first time I press it, nothing's been recorded. So to record this output, I need to press the key again. That's recording the first step. So now I'll make the changes to it. I might change them to orange and move them downstage. To record this, again, all I do is press the flashing button. I can make as many changes as I like. So this time I might put them all the way up there. Change colour to cyan. Again, press that, it saved it. When I finished, all I do is press quit. The LED stopped flashing, say I've stopped recording. I now press clear and run the chase. It again runs it in the default time of one second. That's recorded by fixture mode.